Hello. Thank you for purchasing a story of Toby the Truck Dispatcher and the toy that goes with it. In this YouTube video, we will be showing you how to make the truck. I will give you some tips on what not to do and what to do so that the process is very easy. While you're making the truck with your little one, I hope you enjoy it and that you get a very good product out at the end. The first tip is to check your part bag that there are all the parts are there to start with. There should be a chassis, an engine, the bottom half of the cabin, the top half of the cabin, a bumper bar, two exhaust stacks, two axles, two white pipes for the axles to sit in, and four tyres. Tip two concerns this, in that all these parts have been cut and measured by a person and there could be burrs on some of the corners of the material. You take a piece of sandpaper, fine sandpaper, give it to the little one and ask them just to paper off the edges so that there's nice even edges on all your parts. They are accurate in the their length and the width and whatever you've got to do to them but sometimes burrs escape us and uh, they just need to be taken off. Not a long job but it's crucial to the final product. Tip three, follow the instructions on the assembly notes. They tell you what order to do them in, where you are to place them and what you are looking for. Once you have put the whole truck together then you have need to have the materials required to finish the product off. You need your glue. Aquadir outdoors is a great glue. You can use liquid nails. A uh, piece of sandpaper, the fine sandpaper, just to sand things down. You will need a pencil, a ruler and a paintbrush. I also recommend that if you've got a, a glue gun, it will help stick your wheels, your axles to your job. And then the final product that you need is what you're going to finish it with. It can be your paint that you would like to paint the truck in, or it can be polyurethane. Clear polyurethane gives a nice timber finish, or even using orange oil. The finish with orange oil is very, very good with this Maranti timber. Now, the truck that we are making today is Peter the Prime Mover. Peter is a truck that tows most of the trailers in Tales of Toby the Truck Dispatcher. It is the one that is used the most, but we also have another one, which is in one of the latest stories called Priya the Prime Mover, and it's the big, powerful one. At the moment, this is the one that we are construction. Peter, the Prime Mover. Now, in the construction of Peter, the Prime Mover, the most important thing is to make sure everything is equally aligned up. If not, it'll look lopsided. Your first that you start with is the cabin. Now, you just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the top cabin around. This is where I like to use a paintbrush. You can just spread it out nice and evenly, takes away all the big globs and there, and then you just place it on top. There. Make sure it's equal on the ends like that. Make sure they're nice and straight there. Then to get it straight up the back there like that, just put a little ruler up like that, and then it is ready to go. You need to let that set for 10 to 15 minutes so that you could be able to pick it up and it won't come apart. All this gluing really takes 24 hours to, to adhere properly. But 10 or 15 minutes on that, then you can move on to the next stage. While the cabin is being glued together, you can take the chassis and with your ruler, measure from the sides for the cabin to, to be equidistant on either side, it is nine mil. And you just put a little mark there Put a little rule line along, you won't see it in the final bit and you know that when you put the cabin and the lines up to there, it will be centred. The engine is to go on the front too and once again 
it has to be centered and in this case it's 19 mil so you put a little line there on one side at 19 mil and you'll know that uh, the engine will be lined up on there after you have glued the cabin together and measured the the distance in so that everything will be aligned what you can next do is glue the engine to the front of the truck once again on the base put a bit of glue get your paintbrush and spread it around so you get a nice even coat this using the paintbrush stops all the uh, bits of glue coming out the side and you have to use a rag then to wipe it off once it's there like that you make sure it's along the line that you drew so it's equal distance then at the front you make sure that the engine is right along to the front of the chassis and there it is ready to go after you have uh, been some minutes that's what you should be able to do with the uh, the cabin then you come back to more glue on the bottom of the cabin the paintbrush is excellent in in spreading the glue out and it allows the uh, the glue to um, set a lot quicker and then a little bit of glue on the end of the engine so that where it meets the cabin there will be a nice firm joining of the two two products and once again you just there line it up on that nine mil line that you uh, put in and just be very careful follow your lines and then all of a sudden the truck starts to take shape it will take a little bit of time so don't rush it once you've got it set give it a really good chance to uh, to stick before you proceed to the next stage of the truck um, going together you can put the uh, bumper bar on the front because while all those parts there are, are drying, they're all gluing together like as we've done before. You can just spread the glue on. Now if you pre-paint some of these parts, where that is to, to glue onto there, don't paint it. The glue will eventually set, but it doesn't set as strong as if you're putting timber to timber and there it is just a little bit of pressure on there and there is the prime mover basically finished all we have to do now is add the stacks at the back then put the wheels on the stacks can go in because they're all part of the the job put it in make sure that the stacks face backwards nice and straight Just check that it's all aligned up, ready to go, all touching. Once it gets to that point in time, then all you have to do is set it aside for two or three hours and let it dry. After this, this is dried, then you, all you have to do is place the wheels, axles on the, on the bottom of the chassis, put the wheels on, and then you can paint it or stain it or hit it with orange oil. While the prime mover, the body and all the chassis they are gluing, I'm going to show you on another chassis how to attach the wheels. Now, the attachment is very important for it to run straight. If they don't go on straight, the truck will want to go around in circles. You need a pencil, a ruler. From the end of the, the chassis, you mark 20 mil and then you draw a line across. Now that line, you just double check that it's 20 mil in both cases. From the end, that tells you that it is straight. Then you go to where the wheels are at the front and you measure the distance across there. In this case, it's 35 mil. So at the 17 mil mark, you put a line that side. 17 mil mark, you put a line this side and then you 
draw the line across. Now those two lines indicate where the axles are to go. The easiest way to attach the wheels to the to the chassis is to assemble them all together. Now the white tube allows for the axles to turn. Put them in, put the axle in the white tube and then put the wheels on as well. You need something just to push it down so it goes in the place. Then put the other wheel in the other side. Hopefully I've got them all on the right side. Push them in and then they will run. Now by assembling the wheel system like this makes it very very easy when it comes to gluing them on to the chassis. The white pipe allows the wheels to turn real easy. Check which one goes to the front, which one goes to the back because they're slightly different in length. Once you can see there that they're like that then you are ready to glue them on. You can use liquid nails, put a beading of liquid nails down there and then just push it into place on both of them as long as it goes across the, uh, the line or you can use the glue gun. Once again you just put a beading across there of glue. The good part about the, the glue gun is that you can see the line and then you just push it down on top. Basically there it is, they are on, but you just got to make sure that you've lined them up and they're not too close to one end or the other and the wheels will turn. Now to reinforce the putting of the axle on, I also then like to run a beading of glue along the front and back of the axle. This ensures that the axle casing won't ever come off. You get little bits of hairs from the glue on it, just they just peel off in the end, tidy it all up. Then you turn it over and let the weight of the timber of the chassis pushing down on the axles, give it five, ten minutes and then it they will run. Now if the wheels don't spin freely just lever them out a little bit or even a bit of uh, WD-40 down the axle casing and uh, they will then run quite easily. And there are the wheels on it and they will eventually end up on there and there is your truck completed.